downtown Los Angeles at the Diablo Rehearsal Studios. I'm Thor, and this is Norman. We're from the Ballet Performing Arts Center. I'm the executive director, and he's the house manager and uh, Ballet Performing Arts Center's driver. We're here to pick up Jacques Heim and Chris Roundtree and drive back to Northridge for an important meeting for our upcoming premiere of Le Spas du Temps, which is a trilogy created by Jacques Heim for Diablo Dance Company and featuring Chris Roundtree conducting the new symphony. I think we're about to meet Jacques and Chris right now. Jacques, Mr. Thor. We're rehearsing Les Spans du Temps. This is huge for us. This is one of the biggest events uh, of Diablo, and uh, Les Spans du Temps is actually the biggest project of Diablo history. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Chris. How are you guys? Good. Ready for Chips and Northridge? Good. Ready, ready. Scoring so, the mail from London. Yeah, from Asapekka Solomon. With so your name on the front it's cover. It's incredible. I'm are, just, you happy? Really are, you, are you happy with it's it? It's beautiful. Okay, let's go, let's Can't go. go let's go. Northridge, it is not that far, by the way. If we leave right now, Way says it's 37 minutes downtown to Valley Performing Arts Center. The dancers uh, will be ready. Yes, absolutely. They've been rehearsing for the last two months really hard. There's something that's totally different about, about uh, live music. Like the way, like the energy in the room. You know, the, uh, actors say rasa. Like the, like the taste of the room, the way the room feels. And I think having an orchestra, um, there's something about that that's just so incredibly unique. I run this group called Wild Up uh, that's in Los Angeles. We're five years old and um, we do mostly contemporary music, um, quite a lot of new music, and, and then also like working on how to do old music in, in, a, in a new way, and also taking music from different vernaculars, from jazz and from pop music, and putting them all in the same concert. Here we are at Disney Hall, and so we've done some work on a, a Green Umbrella series, uh, the LA Phil's Green Umbrella series, and we've also started an educational partnership with LA Phil um, that we're, we're teaching a bunch of young composers every year. So Chris and Jacques are in getting coffee. It's hard to believe they need coffee because they seem pretty wired up as it is, but um, we're gonna let them get something to eat and drink, and then we're gonna drive to Northridge. Hey Thor, how did you end up hiring these two? We've been working on it for a year. It was a year ago that Jacques first came to the VPAC offices to talk about doing this piece. So I said, Jacques, I'll produce it. I'll put these three pieces together. I'll put it with a live orchestra. I'll hire the best up and coming conductor in Los Angeles, Chris Roundtree, and we'll have a really amazing, important night. We got to get to VPAC. Where are they? If I could have a live orchestra, you know, all the time with L'Espace du Temps. I mean, that would be the ultimate wish. Because there's something quite beautiful seeing a conductor, you know, really conducting the, the musician. I, in some moments, I really hope to be res responsive and see what they need and do it immediately. I mean, the, the other part of my job is like, this needs to be consistent. Like, I have yeah. to get this right. If I'm, if I'm two clicks too fast, if we're 10 beats too fast, um, we're, we, we're in big trouble. So I hope to get this feeling of like knowing, the, knowing exactly the way it needs to be for, for the dancers. What happened if during the show, one of my dancers start winking at you? Make a little pass. Are you gonna be <laughs> like, wow. Well, we are the Hollywood Ball. Because this is where everything started. The trilogy started here. Foreign Bodies, music by Sapekar Solonen. Fearful Symmetries, music by John Adams. Fluid Infinities, music by Philip Glass. It all started at the Hollywood Bowl. It was beautiful, it was a great event, but here's the thing. Doing the trilogy inside the theater, especially at VPAC, one of the most gorgeous theater in Los Angeles, this is gonna be a moment. This is gonna be a true event. Hollywood Bowl to Valley Performing Arts Center, 27 minutes. Americans think, oh, it's super far. They're just lazy. Esapeka was one of those core people that, that built Daily Phil to what it is. And then Esapeka Salonen, uh, especially with the, the new uh, reorchestration that I've done, and everyone has to be exactly with everyone else. All the players need to be with everyone else. It's incredibly virtuosic. And then one figure comes in, boom, and we have that launch, and that morphs into the, the pulse in the next section, which is very, very challenging. Our outgoing message to the community at large in the valley, you know, is is that we're here and we're new and, and take a look at us. Um, and this van and us going through this car wash right now is kind of an extension of that to make sure that people see us, see us for what we are, the value that we hold, the cleanliness we pride ourselves on. So let me get this right. This is
is an incredible difficult evening for you. Yeah. For the players. Yeah, overwhelming. And an incredibly difficult evening for the dancers. An incredible challenge for the dancers performing those three pieces. So this Intense, is, physically, for sure. This is kind of like the Olympics degree of difficulty 10. Correct, the Olympics on steroids. Conducting Fibias must be quite intense, right? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. It's, Even on the page, one could look at them and kind of go like this. It's the idea of seeing a shape that's similar. It, it makes sense to me. I mean, you would describe it's very hypnotic. Yeah. You go into a trance. How long? How long is it? We'll get to VPAC in the next 26 minutes. People are throwing themselves off of large structures into the air. It's all about teamwork. I mean, maybe the, the orchestra also working with an orchestra is the same. It's beautiful. It's like, it's like a team sport. You know, it's, at least that's, that's how I got in. It was like either this or hockey. There is something mystical and beautiful about a conductor. He's really not just conducting the orchestra, but us, yes. the dancers, what's happening on stage live. This Great is it. Hall, this is it. Five hours and 45 minutes later. I just want to say that we want you guys to feel so welcome, like it's your home. <laughs> Two men are very important. The first one is Chad Smith, COO of the Los Angeles Philharmonic Orchestra, who commissioned L'Espace du Temps. And the second man is Thor Steingrab, executive director of VPAC, Valley Performing Arts Center. The full trilogy in one evening with the newest orchestra, conducting by Chris Rondry. And because of that, now L'Espace du Temps will have its future.